is back to another episode. Now, um, sorry there hasn't been a lot of videos. I'm still quite sick and I've got a lot of assignments. So it's whatever I can do. Um, I will try to push out a lot more videos and I am actually going to record a bunch today and tomorrow. And it's going to be a pretty big backlog, but at least there'll be videos. Um, with that in mind, I'm really just going to say I'm going to record three videos of this of RPG Maker. Meaning, if you do have any, or if any tips or tricks or I make a mistake, it means it will stay around probably for three episodes. And then, obviously, we'll get fixed. I'm just saying that in advance, just so people don't go, oh, why? I mean, I don't know, why aren't you listening to us, whoever? Because, now, this episode, we actually really kind of want to talk to do a town. Now, we could teleport you to a town, but regardless of what we're going to do, we, we just basically want a new map. Really, we just really want a new map. Now, fields, I, I don't do, I think time portal, I think fields really should be a part of time portal, because it's really a, um, we can just call it starting area, but if we're looking into RPG, we really need a new map. Now, we can loot a sample map of a, um, of a town, like we got a regular town here, that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think we're not going to, or are we? And if you look at this, um, it's really cool. This is two D, and these are non walkable, I think, and stuff. I think that's really cool. Yes, yeah, so these are non walkable essentially. After, um, here we go. So see, these are non walkable. So you can't walk into them, but these are walkable. I think it's a really cool addition. Um, now, this town's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty nifty town and stuff like that. And I could use this, but I think I'm just gonna make my own. It's it's if I make my own, it's a little easier, I guess. And it's a little simpler almost. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how they got the hub in and pub. Oh, there's the in. What? Oh, that's what I mean. I was wondering why it was like, why, why isn't this working? Guys, so we're going to start a new map. We're going to delete this map. And we're going to start a new one. Um, under RPG Maker. You got, Remember this is parenting thing. If you guys don't really know what parenting is. Essentially, um, you can have maps and they can be allocated to a parent. And parents essentially, there's not much difference for allocation, it just kind of makes things nicer. And you can kind of have a, I believe there is actually a reason for having parents in this, but especially in other um, engines, parenting is very useful because the children will always inherit things like positions of the parent. For example, if I move the parent, the child normally moves with it. But that's only, not in other engines, so on this engine. But I believe there are some uses. Regardless, I'm just going to do it just for niceness. So there's a few things. There's gonna be no encounters in this map. I'm just gonna call this map. Uh, how about we call this Town Zero? Uh, how about we call this Hub World? Now there's gonna be no battles, and there's gonna be I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is this music? Oh, no, I, I don't want music. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. This is music. BGM and BGS. Um. Now, you may notice one thing, I don't actually know a lot of stuff, so how do I know, how do you learn that? So you go to contents, and it should be under here. So if we edit map, um, we're looking at quite a few different tools, and essentially we want to um, send map data, here we go. We want to have a look here, we want to... Um, so loop is essentially allowing us... Um, Allowing travel in an endless loop. So it means that if you move down to the bottom layer of the map, you can move back up to the top and for same for left and right. Battle background, pretty obvious. Um, uh, oh, background music. Oh, I see. Um, and background sounds. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, I see how it is, okay. So we're going to create a new map, as we said. And, um, there's a bunch of stuff about troops. We're going to talk about it later. Essentially, we just want a uh, hub world, as I said. We can have spaces, so why not? Um, and we're going to display this as, um, home base. Now, 
we're going to use a field, I believe, unless we're using exterior. Remember, we can change this later, it doesn't matter. Now, this is going to be pretty big, so I'd say 40 by 40 is decent. I actually, I can't really think, I don't really think it's too much. Now, essentially, we just, we, we just kind of want town. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know, you want some kind of cool, nifty, smifty music. I think you have to change that one. This is great. Okay, we'll, we'll cancel that just because we don't want to listen. Oh, I see. That's cool. No, we're not going to have any uh, uh, background sounds. No, we're not going to say we're uh, dashing and um, uh, I think this is just background for the area. Yeah, I, I actually don't think we really need background. So we're just going to ignore this stuff, um, and we're not going to have any encounters. So that's essentially our map. That's actually a lot bigger than I thought, so I may actually uh, make it slightly smaller. So we're just going to make it maybe 20 by 20. That's a decent size hubboard. Actually, I think we want to maybe make it 30 by 20, because we want a decent size hub. This is a big hubboard, remember. It's not just a small little one. Now, this is exactly what we actually want. We actually want this thing with all the um, town hub stuff. But we may want to have a look, and so this is exterior. But if we look at field, we do yes. Yeah, so we don't want field; we want exterior. And then obviously each house will have an interior um, side. So we're going to start off by setting out the areas. So essentially, we want a hub world that players can go to, and we will kind of. I'm thinking of making this game non-linear. because um, this really, I guess, will show you people how to make things non-linear and now. Um, Users to choose their own path. So very much, I, I, you could say Dark Souls is non-linear. Um, the best example I can think of is um, one of the latest Legend of Zelda games. Uh, can't remember the name of it now. Um, it's like Twin Swords. No, it's not. Uh, it's, it's it's a copy of Link to Past basically, um, and it allows non-linear dungeons. You can accomplish any dungeon at any time. Now I don't think I really want hundred percent unlinearness. I do really want you to be able to explore. Very much like Pokemon you can explore with a linear goal. Because I hate having non linear goals, I just want the opportunity to explore. So if I'm playing my game, I want to be able to go to any place. I want to be able to take any path I want. I want to be able to take specialized paths, specialized to what I want to do. Maybe take the misty mountains or take the, I don't know, deep dark, whatever, regardless. It doesn't even matter. You just want to take paths that you feel are suitable for your character. This is the hub world. The hub world is essentially a world of mercenaries, I think, because we've got this ambition system, and we've got to be careful when we're using something like this, that certain characters don't like our character. Obviously, that's what we're using. We're kind of showing you a lot of dynamic stuff. That's why this game seems really ambitious and stuff, because I'm trying to just shove everything in to see, to maybe get someone go, okay, and show them how to do certain things. So... Um, one of the big things is that we want to make sure with our ambition system that we don't go overboard. Because in the hub world, we don't want to have multiple hub worlds. Right? So we want to make sure everyone's kind of mercenary and they don't really care what side you're on. They don't really care whether you're evil or good. So instantly you're already evil because someone joins you. Um, but obviously you get the chance they on to ditch him for a good guy or whatever. Totally up to you. So we're going to start off with a simple map. We're going to get this tool, which allows us to kind of... Um, well, I believe this one's drag. No, yeah, this one's drag, but this one's actually much more of a. Well, I guess that's further inside board. We're also not going to do in, but we're also going to do much more of an outside. Now, we can just kind of feel for a nice background. I don't really like this, honestly. I'm feeling if we kind of want something much more hub worldly. Now, I'm actually thinking much more clouds. Because I'm thinking that we're a hub world in the sky. You know, that makes sense. So, no, it doesn't at all, but shush. <laughs> the game. Can be whatever it wants to be. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, what do I want it to be? Do I just want it to be, like, I don't know, an interesting, like, game? Or, I don't know. Just trying to think. Oh, we want, like, I don't know. 
Um, Chris just had that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just like picking random stuff because I'm, I don't really know what to choose. I believe self with grassland, and then we can go on from that. So we're gonna maybe do like much more of a. Uh, I like snow. Yes, yourself cloudy snow. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. So from this area, now we actually want to define our outskirts. So we want to define maybe four and exits, and that's essentially. It. So we got to try to get some fence posts or or something similar. So we can kind of do something like this. Not really fence posts, we actually really want much more like fence post things. That, that, that's pretty good. And it's got ice on top too. So it's kind of cool. So we gonna kind of um think it's because this is 30 by 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We kind of want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's that's like the middle point right there. So we kind of just want to make sure we just do like that, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. And now we have double mid. Um, Yeah, it's fine. So then we're just going to kind of do like that. I guess. Um, do the same over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And here. So like that and that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I don't know. That'll be fine. That looks fine. <laughs> I'm lazy. That's really cool. Holy cow. Nice. Um, <laughs> please. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to have to stick the snow again. Okay. There we go. And then we want to go down to about here. I'd say it's about right. In here. Oh, wait. What? Yeah. Like that. There we go. And then you can definitely see we've got much more of an area. Now, oh, this, this is a side problem up here. So we're just going to kind of do this. And then we can remove it now. This is just this area here. So we kind of got this outskirts here. Maybe we can have an entrance and some treasure chests or something to aid the player. Now we actually do want to kind of go down here a bit and do those two. Go back up. And then just kind of fix up here. There we go. So then that's our four exits. Now this is our town, town hub area. So we kind of want to make it a little bit more, um, I hate using the word civilized, but we're going to make it a little bit more civilized, shall we say. So we kind of want to maybe fill this in a bit more. Um, yeah, I think I think we feel, or we feel like this. So we, uh, we essentially just want to make the ground a little bit more tasteful. I don't know. I guess that's what I'm looking for. No, no. I'm just looking for, like, what kind of texture. I think that's pretty good. So I think, oh, that, yes, that'll cover what I want. Okay. That looks pretty good. I don't like these engine exits there. That's, that's fine. I'll cope. Um, wait, can I, like, so these things, oh, because of how they work, okay, that sucks, I can't change underneath, that's, this is fine, though, it looks fine, it, it doesn't, okay, we'll just change this really quickly, um, Um, there we go, we can fill those areas, and we're just going to kind of fill in these things, as well as these, I guess, just fill in the whole thing, and then just, we can just kind of make a area right around them, 
We just need these ones, but that's we can do that in a moment. Just to make things look a little bit better. Now, one big thing I think about games is that you really got to be careful. But just just do it. If if you don't know whether it'll look good, just try it. And if it looks good, keep it. I've always just preferred it. I mean, keep a copy if you need it. Um, I don't think that's. I think the problem is that people don't like just try something. I mean, like, it doesn't. It looks better than it does. They did. And I mean, you could keep it the old way. Just go, oh, guys. Really, it's just yeah. But you really got a lot of attention because if you don't then you find that other parts start lacking that attention because you're just kind of getting a bit lazy that's where some of the games have big flaws now oh that looks cool <laughs> okay so now we have to get start building houses so i believe it's c that's houses no it must be b then no it must be a yes it is a so I mean, when we're building these houses, we instantly just kind of got to make it a simple area. So we got to detect what areas we want. So we kind of want this area to be a house. And we got to make sure we have a... Now, it's hard to explain, but the biggest way I can say is do something called visual... Um, the kind of it's called a visual reception we'll call it. So essentially, when the player logs in, he can instantly tell what parts he wants to go to. He can tell that... All the weapons and gear is over on this quadrant, where all the art, where all the HP, all the bonuses, all the like defensive stuffs over here. Um, that's used for things I don't know, like recovering HP. You know, all the c consumables. Down here is all the quest information. Over here is the tavern and stuff. So we can actually instantly um, tell which places are which. Now that is really important that you have that. Otherwise, it's just you don't have that um, player to uh, develop a reception. Stuff like health help bars and other stuff really helps too. So we're gonna start off with a house, and I gotta choose a nice thing because I think the houses kind of look a bit weird. Um, now the biggest thing I can say maybe is just maybe load a simple map. If you really have to, just load a simple map. Scroll in. I mean, actually scroll in. This is Windows. Okay. Have a look, see what it looks like that, and see how they've made that. So all the things come in, that's cathedral, but we're looking for this kind of material. I'm blind, you probably have already seen already, but I can't see it yet. Uh, is it this stuff? Nope. Just really try. There we go. So now we found it. Now we can just start building our houses. There, then build a roof. Um, yeah, I mean, let's look at this. This is very easy. Get a window, pop a few windows in, make the textures look awful. Holy cow, we're gonna fix up those shadows. Oh, what's Really? You're, not, you're, you're just gonna have those awful looking textures there? Damn it. I really can't stand those textures. They're awful. I guess you could just say that. I don't know. Well, the thing is. I think we are going to load a novel sample map. Just have a look at how they're done. So we've always got this roof color, um, but that's basically these essential houses. This is what we've got here. So you see, this house and this house are essentially basically the same. The only difference is they've got kind of, it's only one wide, whereas it's two. Now, when they've got two wide here, it's kind of uneven. So we definitely kind of want to extend that a little bit. Now, what is this going to be? I think this is going to be a tavern. No, it can't be a tavern. It's a bit small for a tavern. So I think we're going to make this like a simple, um, maybe like a, just a, I think a civilian house. I don't think we've got enough space for that. Actually, we're just maybe just going to remove it completely and then build in something else because I don't like the bits ended. That's kind of anticlimactic. It's like, hmm, what do I use this for? 
destruction. Um, wait, what? Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. And now it's rebuilt. Now, how do we start with the roof? So, we kind of want a weapon shop here. Shop here. So, we kind of just want to maybe start off with this. Do a two layer roof, maybe in three. We can do it against the wall. And then, maybe we can even push against the wall like this. Really kind of extend this. I don't like that too much extension there. So, it's going to kind of cut it off a bit. But just add uh, too much. There we go. And then we're going to kind of extend it like this. And no, uh, that was awful. <laughs> we'll just keep it like this, right? Right for now. Now we could use some top tier stuff, which is, I think, just looking at this right now. What, what do they use? That's not it. Um, that's obviously not it. Obviously not it. It's kind of like a weed material. It's like a bee material. Um, I see. Oh, I see what they use. Ah, oh, so this is kind of where you get roofs from. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So here. We really want this kind of roof. Um, mm. yeah, I think we just boot that. I think we just built this and then we just cut away a bit. I, I hate being the indecisive one. Um, yeah, okay, I'm happy with this. I can't fuss too much about it. Even though, like I said, you really kind of got to fuss a bit. But I think it's just going to go forever if I fuss about it too much. So I'm just going to kind of leave it. Uh, make it too wide. Do the. Um, I guess we can make it maybe just one. That looks ugly as you need to make it two. This kind of building, um, and then this is basically just where we add a door. Like that, I guess. Uh, I guess we could just add like a simple two stage door like that. That's a window. I hate when that happens. It's like, oh, we should, we'll just add a door. Window. Um, because I just want like two blank spaces. <laughs> we can never get those. Um, there we go, that's pretty back. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. Then we can like put window here. Let's put window here and put window here. How does these houses have these windows and we don't? Or maybe because they don't have windows like that? I don't know. I guess we'll put these back together and then oof, I hate it's not okay we're just going to fix this like this because <laughs> I'm I hate that it's uneven okay then we're going to add the new window stuff which is on a B I believe yeah there we go add these cool looking windows snazzy looking windows it's a bit trippy how it works but it's cool and then we can um, add a sign like this this um and shields I guess and I don't know what that is but it looks cool it looks like a magic pot oh, that's that's like a coffee shop okay so maybe we just do um I think we do swords that thing and that thing like that that looks pretty good it's pretty clear not too much difficulty we probably want ones. And like rings, and like this. <laughs> that would just be simple. simple. Wands, sword. How about we just do like a wands and sword shop, as you can see? 
I guess rings in the middle. And then, like, right over here, maybe we can have another kind of, um, equipment-based shop. Regardless, let's build equipment-based shop. Now, we want to just kind of do the exact same thing we had before, but this will be a bit quicker. So it's equipment-based, so I don't really think it really needs to be too much bigger. Oh my gosh, I thought you might come right click, yay. Oh, thank goodness. Um, I guess we can just do like that. And then I guess we can just do that. A very simple thing. And then we can just do a very simple like that. And then maybe just one more. And I'll just move what I had. Um, I guess we can just do something like that. And then just do. Yeah, no, no, you need to, you need to know there. It looks. It should look like that. Then I think we even should have put another layer, like that. And then we'll fit this in the middle, and then we can just cut right down the middle. Like that. Now we want some different windows, because obviously, different windows. And I'm thinking, saying this, even just saying as simple as that can work. Um, now this, we want to make sure it's obvious that this is much more uh, equipment based figure. So we want like, feet and, um, it's food. So I guess we just... Can do like this. Okay, I guess this, and then I guess we can. So since this is equipment based, this is item based, and then we want a kind of like a marketplace. And the idea is marketplace is we're going to actually have goods that rotate. So um, you may have to actually switch around your team, which is the whole idea of the tavern, because you may want to switch around your team so that your marketplace is actually good. So every day it will reset your marketplace. And so you kind of want to adjust your team to what the marketplace has to offer. Because the marketplace is quite powerful maybe, or it's quite weak, I don't know. Regardless, we just want to maybe add that thing in, just because it's an interesting mechanic. So, let's talk about the marketplace. Well, the marketplace is a marketplace, it's pretty simple. It's a lot of things like this. I don't know, I like that though. Um, we are actually, I think um, I think we're actually going to have the, I like the idea of a marketplace, but I'm, I'm just not. Maybe we can, do we actually have a marketplace in here? We don't. Okay, we may just add like a marketplace area. Um, off some other map, just have a look at it and see. Come on, come on, no, there's nothing. Yeah, there's no way. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's not good. Um You got all the stuff, but other stuff is useless because I've got freaking no thing. Oh that's really cool, that's a really cool thing. So ah, damn it. We kinda wanna maybe just a simple house. Mm. We really want it in the middle of the town, so we kind of just want to make sure this is the middle of the town. That's kind of the middle. And essentially, we want to be saying different, like, I don't know, like this, this, I don't know, I guess this, make this, and then just kind of take it over. I guess that's the middle of the town. Um, I really don't like that. <laughs> just cut down to, like, simply just a four. And then we can just build essentially on top of that. I really don't like this, but it's a nice starter. Um, I guess we can just kind of do something like this. I really like this look, by the way. So these are the middle four squares, by the way. So we kind of, if we build out to here, we really want to build out to here. If we build out to the top, we really should build it to the bottom. Um, but actually, no, we don't really need to in this case.
because it's so even, it does mean that it's going to be a two doorway, but that's fine, I think. I mean, it's a tavern, so why not? And then we can just have an empty doorway. And then it's quite simple. Literally just going to be a tavern or a pub. I guess we're actually going to have an inn, a pub inn. Um, this is, I like the idea of this because this allows you to bring new guys in. And it, it's an interesting, I actually really like the idea that you have to switch your um, play style. It really encourages versatility, this kind of thing. Now, we've built this. I'm actually going to probably um, continue the next episode um, after this. I'm just going to keep building. Um, this is going to go quite quickly. But you can see oh, these things look not too bad, don't they? Um, they don't look great, but they don't look too bad. And it's quite easy to build things with RPG Maker. Anyway, see you guys next time.